So this is a Vernon Sapote, or Sapote, however you, you say it. Uh, I am in Zone 9B, Central California. Um, this this right here is a Subel Sapote. Take a look at the difference of growth and basically no frost damage. And look at this one. So I'm going to do... I was planning on, because this is still under a guarantee, to get my money back. But I don't like giving up. So, pruning always, always produces new growth. So, let's start. I'm going to prune. Here's the old cut you can see here. So let me focus it. Right there, the black spot. That's where I cut in two. Um, stems or branches came out of that. Every pruning produces new growth. No chemical fertilizer, even probably no organic fertilizer can do better than pruning to produce new growth. But I don't want to cut all the way down here. That, that wasted the time of this the energy it took to make these two. But you see how we got orange leaf sprouts, orange but green right here. This one's green. I'm going to cut right there on an angle. Not like this. Let me focus again. Not like this, but like this. The reason why, it helps water run off. With this small of a limb, you don't really have to do this, but I always just train myself to do it. And not too close to that bud, that little sprout here. This is where new Wow, what's going on with the camera? There we go. It's going to be right just above. Right there. And that's going to produce new growth from that point, that one, and that one. I'm going to do it again. Uh, let's see. Man, I gotta go pretty low. You see how these these leaves are starting to turn upside down? That means they're dying. Someone else could say, oh no, that, that in my experience with this Vernon Sapote, whatever turns over, like this, you see how this just dot is dying now? Um, whatever turns over with this tree, whatever leaf turns over, it starts to die. So, but you see the new leaves here, excuse me, older leaves that didn't grow as big? Well, guess what, you're the survivor it's going to be you. So I'll go a little of an angle. And take it off. Never leave leaves. Now a lot of you might go, oh no, you're, you're, this tree's too small, you're, you're, hurt, you're hurting it. You know, it needs the leaves for t protection or food. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Simple. No, it doesn't. Not at all. See this black, right here, this black limb, dead. All the way, almost all the way back. And the sprouts don't look that good either. So I'm gonna cut this whole thing off. And now, this new growth, you see how it's, oh geez, what's going on here? Old growth, bark, new growth, green, pretty healthy. Now, sometimes I may leave the leaves on it, like what I just did, do not cut so I can protect this from the frost, but we're kind of over the frost now, it's, it's because we're going to go into 10 days of rain coming up here, 20 inches of rain, thank goodness, here in California. Let's see what else, just dead leaves. And always drop it to the ground. Everything to the ground. Never remove it. This here, if you're questioning, was just a slight idea I have of putting um, the water pipe insulation around the stem to keep protect it, to keep it warm. I, and I take it off once in a while to let it breathe. And I do not let it touch the ground. So I have the, the, the graft breathing. So I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I didn't want to lose a tree. So... Um, this looks pretty good. There's a terminal bud still healthy right there. 
Normally I would cut that off. And today is no exception. Right there. That little guy's gone. You cut that terminal bud off, and all the little white specks, you see those buds, are going to open up. That terminal bud um, is there to continue grow, lateral growth. And I don't really want that right now. I want bushiness. So, everything looks good now. That's all it takes. That's all it takes, guys. Any old... Growth, like you see this old uh, prune cut right here. Let's see from this angle. That old, old prune cut, make that nice and flush. Never have old growth because it needs more if I can get it. Because, let's see, probably like this. Like that, nice and flush because of suckers. You don't want suckers. They'll come right out of those stems that didn't get cut off all the way down. Like this one here, that old black growth I was talking about. Good. All right, guys. Well, this is my longest video. Unless I have to up my video times. I can't really do one or two or three minute videos anymore. I have too much to say. Alright, happy gardening, almost springtime.